Okay, today's the 14th Friday. Um, I took another dose of ivermectin today. I'm just splitting, the, so the, I'm using 12 milligram tablets. I'm just splitting them in quarters and taking them like that. I, again, I take them, you know, on an empty stomach uh, and I don't eat afterwards. Um, I don't think I updated. So, so I got, so guys, the, the other sign of me having, um, uh, parasites was when I came off that six day fast, I ate fruit, like, uh, uh shakes, big fruit shakes, right? Nothing added, just fruit, just watermelon, banana, and whatever it was in there. But I must say almost, uh, you know, three quarters of a gallon of that. And, you know, plus apples and lime um, and whatever other fruit, cherries and whatever other fruit. I didn't shit. I couldn't shit. There was no shit for like two days. It didn't make sense. My son was like, Dad, that just doesn't make sense, right? It didn't make sense at all because, you know, that should have ran right through me. With nothing in my system, that should have ran right through me. But what happens is those fucking parasites were so starved, they actually hold everything up. They hold everything up and they're sucking everything out of it. They're sucking all they can get out of that food that I put, finally put into my system. So, um, I took... And that was, that was, that was really bothering me because I was like, man, why the fuck would, you know, how's my, my, uh, sphincter stopped up like that? Like that doesn't even make fucking sense. Right. Like I didn't even need to shit. There was no shit, but it, I mean, I was holding a ton of food inside of me. Uh, so like I said, the, the, okay. And then, so the other thing was I was drinking my alkaline tea guys and this is this is like six different plant roots that provide every single mineral that all of your organs need to function properly so when i would drink that tea i would feel it felt like all of a sudden my organs all my organs would just become real hydrated and wet right and they felt great within 30 to 45 minutes they were being sucked completely dry um so those two things in and of themselves were just like a, a huge warning signal that I was dealing with parasites. Um, so yesterday I ended up after my second dose of ivermectin, I think I waited a couple of hours. I, I might've already updated it. I, I can't remember where I'm at because I got all this, this um, childhood trauma, um, exposing all these abusive people in my family. Um, so, you know, a lot going on at the moment, but I'm trying to keep you guys updated on this fasting. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, look, as the fasting is on hold, I'm still fasting throughout the day. I mean, uh, you know, I'm eating, let's say I'm fasting 16 hours a day. I'm eating fruit. Yesterday, yesterday I, um, went and got, I had a huge craving for either Doritos or a chicken sandwich from a fast food restaurant. It was unbelievable cravings. I had to sit here with myself for about half an hour and talk myself down, explain to myself the amount of processed poison that was in Doritos in order to get away from them. And I ended up going to the store and getting a bag of uh, pistachios um, to help with that craving. But again, these cravings are coming from these, uh, from these uh, parasites. So I ended up taking uh, castor oil yesterday. And usually any time, other time I've ever taken castor oil, my system will run that shit through so fucking quick. Within two hours, it's out of me. Yesterday, it took four or five, maybe six hours. I can't remember exactly, but it took an extremely long time 
that castor oil was work. My stomach was grinding like those fucking parasites were holding on as tight as they fucking could. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to, I'll update some more. Uh, I just had kids walk in the house. Um, but I just want to give a quick, uh, update on the fasting, what's going on with the fruit and, uh, with the medicine.